Virgo, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your mid-August reading. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice. Thank you for tuning in, for sharing this space with me, Virgo. Let's get started. Hope you're all are doing well. It's just about the weekend here in the Northern Hemisphere. I hope you all enjoy it. And whenever this message finds you, I hope that it helps. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Virgo today. Okay. Let's get the strongest incoming energies for you for the rest of August, Virgo. Strongest incoming energies. All of the Oracle and Tarot decks that I'm using today, you can find in the description box below their asterisk, okay? So you don't have to go wondering, which one was that? This is a deck called What We've Forgotten. Very strong themes. Scorpio got um, star consciousness. You could have Scorpio placements. Ancient wisdom and star consciousness. Virgo, you're swimming in some deep waters. The second half of August, you could be experiencing content that is making you have, you know, the big metaphysical, philosophical questions about your existence. Could be feeling an activation. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, you have a portal. A portal that you've entered into where you're becoming more and more aware of your lineage. The lineage of your soul in your journey. So you could, what I'm, what I'm feeling mostly is so you can get some answers about your path, your life path, tapping into lifetimes, perhaps you've had ancient wisdom, acquired ancient wisdom. There's some sort of messaging that's being conveyed to you and it feels like it's coming from your higher self and it's going to apply directly to your situation Especially, Virgo, you're being hit with this retrograde energy. So I showed that for, with you for a while, just so you could let that activate your own inner knowing. All tarot readings are a trigger for your own awareness, for your own inner knowledge and expansion. So you're definitely being guided here by the ancients, and you could be remembering as you're, I'm getting a, a chakra, a deep chakra expansion between the lower chakra into the heart and solar plexus chakra. So you could be working on your inner, you have been working on, and I know this from your last few readings, this year mainly you've been really upgrading in your confidence and in your leadership ability and in creating There's something going on in the second half that has a lot to do with you receiving information through this portal. It's beautiful. You could be journeying in your dreams to deep and vast places. I feel like there's community support coming in beyond this realm into the non-physical. We're going, we're going, I told people, what was that sign was it? We're, we're going pretty woo-woo here at Illuminated Tarot with this, with this deck in particular, if you really are into star consciousness, deep thematic, um, metaphysical energies. Get that deck. It's pretty powerful. All right. Now, let's move into your tarot energies. Ooh, I love that. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in your overall general energy. We've got the chameleon here that's sitting. You know, the one thing that I learned about the wheel lately, and I, I've shared this. What did I share this with? Anyway, I'll share it with you all as well. Where you, you realize in your lifetime that the wheel is beyond even the events of our lives. It's, it's the wheel that we are on as a soul. And it's something that I, I expanded my awareness around lately. You know, we get kind of fixated on our one lifetime here. But if you think from an eternal presence, it it encapsulates your life with a little bit more wonder and a little bit more reverence for what you're experiencing, especially as in the way that you need to detach from the personal I. When you start to think in terms of lifetimes instead of just one journey, 
It allows you to have a certain level of grounded presence and a deeper awareness. But the thing about the wheel here is this one lifetime is connected to all the other lifetimes. And it's the totality of your learning. So whatever you learn in this lifetime is expanding and helping you in other lifetimes. So there's something too here with that chameleon energy around flowing with the rhythm of life and that remembrance that we need when we are trying to open up our, our, ourselves to new opportunities that we've, we've done this so many times before. So <clears throat> there's an expansion going on and a lot of change is happening, but it's, it seems that your perspective has really deepened, especially this year. All right, let's go into the past. Ooh, we're going to go with some majors here. Another uh, Scorpio influence here with the death card. Don't, don't be afraid of death. Okay, we don't need to be afraid of death. In this picture, she is communing with the vulture, which is about honoring and respecting the cycles, that there is a rhythm. So you're thinking bigger here. We've got big energies. This isn't the run-of-the-mill month for you especially as you turn inward and you're a bit more retrospective because of the retrograde. You know, you're reassessing, reevaluating your life from a higher, higher point of view, especially with these strongest incoming energies and these two major arcanas. So there's something that you've transformed within yourself in the recent past, embracing the changes. Sorry, there's a lot of activity going on outside. And a lot of it has to do with the work that you're really, really focusing in on. Look at the rhino there. Now, as you can see, this rhino is standing tall right beside her. So this is about embodying the belief that patience and practice are truly your keys to success. And that it takes, was it Malcolm Gladwell, that 10,000 hours. So whatever you do, do it with love. Devote yourself to your work. So presently, you could be so devoted to what you're putting out there, Virgo. And I've been, this is energy you've been in, and it's been very grounding for you to, to have this type of routine and to climb the ladder of success, to perfect your craft, to be 100% devoted to it. Wait, uh, in the future, yeah, the chariot. It's about to say what you don't see coming, but it's pretty much the future, what you don't see coming. And we have the chariot. I love hawks. She's riding these beautiful hawks. That chariot energy. It's about flowing with more power. Your energy is now flowing with more power as a result of this transformation. I can't wait to see what these energies say. But the chariot is moving forward in a positive direction with confidence, summoning your will. We have three out of the four cards as majors. So this is a pretty extraordinary second half of August for you. You know where you're going, Virgo. No doubt about it. Now, what's interesting, I'm going to take each of these animals, which we talked about the rhino in the center of the reading here currently, the vulture in your past. With the death, the chameleon, the wheel of optimism, you know, this, you know, changing, right? Blending in with your environment, sitting on top of the wheel. Look at that. He's sitting on top of the wheel with wings. It's like you've mastered something. You've mastered transformation. You've mastered change. And, and you now are moving forward with so much confidence in a brand new direction. And it comes down to you welcoming this growth. I just feel like you've got a really beautiful grounded energy. <clears throat> you could even be guided to rest. He's sitting still in the changes of his life. All right. Now I'm pairing each card with a message, an oracle message. So the chameleon is saying, shine bright, Virgo. It's never a mistake to give of yourself. Some will take it for granted. Others may take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. 
Yeah, you know, he looks like he's deep in contemplation. You could be struggling with a situation where you feel a little bit taken for granted. It's not letting you dampen your spirits, but it's this major energy of really looking at the ways in which you could be overgiving. And Spirit is saying it's never a mistake. Just don't allow anyone who may have, be doing this to overpower you and overpower your light with negative beliefs or staying stuck because the wheel keeps on turning. I do believe that you're taking a look at the exchange that you have. We're going to clarify this in a moment and find out what, what the chameleon is really talking about when it's saying shine brightly regardless of what other people give or don't give to you. What's this death passage from the past? You went through some sort of rite of passage here. Authenticity attracts. Being authentic attracts the right people and repels the wrong ones. When you stay true, you naturally filter out those who don't align with your path. So yeah, you could have had some sort of ending. Death always signals some sort of ending or a need to transform a situation. You may have actually said goodbye to some people. You know, you might have people have vanished, but, you know, their energy remains as a reminder that when life throws unexpected changes, the foundations that you've created in your life will remain. Feels like you've had to let go of maybe, it feels like maybe some family members or some friends that the more you became stronger in yourself, the more there was distance created. Or this could be someone you're currently dealing with. The more you really expand and flow with your own authenticity, the more it's pushing someone's buttons. That could be true for some of you, but this feels like past energy that you're wrapping up now. Your main focus has been your work. What is this eight of pentacles energy with the rhino? Standing tall, so confident, Virgo. So confident, don't give up on all of these goals that you have, the devotion that you have to the work you're doing in the world, in yourself and, yeah, don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. I love how they beautifully pair. This rhino was saying, it's okay that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some of the best moments in life happen during and after hard times. Keep believing. Yeah, you could be working hard at something, not exactly seeing the results yet, but keep striving for greatness nonetheless, all right? Really, the keys to success are that belief that your patience and devotion will pay off. It's the practice makes perfect energy. Do not give up on what you are creating. And go with confidence. What you don't see coming, do it your way. <laughs> do it your way, Virgo. You were never meant to fit in. You were born to be a wild and free force of nature. Doesn't I mean, look at that. She's riding on the wings across this vast universe, doing it you, your way. You were born to be a wild and free force of nature, here to build new and better worlds. Allow yourself to go and do that. Yeah, you're building a new and better world. There's some sort of friction going on. I'm not sure with whom, but you're in a beautiful energy. If, if you just consider where you are as an individual, Virgo, it is gorgeous. It just feels like there's something. I, it's, I got an uneasy feeling in the pit of my stomach right now, and I feel like that's you've got something going on that is beyond where you are and what you're experiencing as an individual. Beautiful energies, though. Goodness me, Virgo. I love what I am seeing so far for you for the second half. All right. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune, these beautiful changes. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands is an energy where you might feel a little bit attacked or people pushing you. So standing your ground especially around this energy of someone may be taking you for granted. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're willing to learn and grow. You know what? This is the energy. You're putting so much work into your career right now, and you may have someone nipping at your heels around that, around, you know, can you just pull back? Or I'm not sure who this is to you. They're, they have a younger, more youthful energy. They kind of feel a little bit lost to me. There's someone around you that feels a little bit lost. I'm not sure who it is. They're easily distracted. They might be distracting you from your work. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, 
but you're almost you're putting up some boundaries. This feels like you're putting up boundaries around someone so you could do your job without too much distraction. This this feels like it could be someone in your work life. Hmm. And if it's not someone in your work life, the Page of Swords is usually a card of being the observer. So you could be looking at how you are approaching your day-to-day in your work life and setting up healthy boundaries where you have a little bit um, where you're creating and carving out time to have personal pauses because this Wheel of Fortune is changes going on in your career through your work, but also needing to maintain um, – you know, cherishing and honor, honoring your energy reserves. So if you're pushing yourself so hard, Spirit is saying, learn from the pace you're keeping up with because you can't sustain that forever. So some of you, but because this chameleon is really talking about giving maybe too much and other people taking advantage of it, you could be defending your right to be who you are at this time, especially around the things that you're devoted to. Okay. Now let's look at this major transformation in the past. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. Yet, you know, there's a real strong holding on to your stability, your security. I think you were struggling with this transformation for a little while. Because it feels like you're with, you were drawn from someone that is in your life that you have con like committed to. It feels like someone you are really strongly attached to, but things feeling a little bit off. It feels like there's just a little bit of a misalignment and a need to transform some sort of connection in your life at this time. But primarily your second half of August feels very work focused. You're focusing on saving. You could be focusing too on there's a there was a big change in your finances in the recent past where you may have had more of a feeling of worry around money and now you're feeling a little bit better. Money's flowing. There's just more resources at hand. And it's a huge change in your life. But there's something around you staying true and filtering out people that don't belong and keeping your energy withdrawn i don't know if this is an actual person around you or you but a need to ground your energy and your presence and staying true to your financial goals money is a really big um topic for you um at this time in your life it's like the acquisition of money the acquisition of security is very important to you it's a big goal of yours all right presently oh i love this wow there's a lot of feminine energy here with the recent past, the Queen of Pentacles, staying grounded, nurturing that part of your life, saving money, going through this big change. You could have gone through a huge change in your career recently, but it feels like there's, there's someone that you've had some sort of struggle with. They're not, they're kind of a, they're actually a little bit of a chameleon here because they can't point out where they're coming from or what their energy is. But they're here. They're beneath the surface. So we have the current energy clarifying the Eight of Pentacles as the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is, you know, don't give up on what you're creating because it is abundant. You are creating abundance, Virgo. Right? This strong inner confidence rising up. You should be praising yourself for your efforts because it looks like what you're creating is a lot of opportunity, abundance. You could be reevaluating and reassessing things at this time around your schedule, around your routine, and ways in which you need to start nurturing yourself a bit more because it feels like you're spread a little thin. Because you're you're focusing so much on stability, security. You could be providing for someone or providing for your children. And it's just there's just a lot that you're trying to support. It feels that way. And that's why sometimes you're trying to defend how much you're working. Because you have goals. Some of you have goals around family, whether you are currently parenting or you want to become a parent because of the empress here. You're working hard on nurturing the parts of your life that you are never, you're not going to give up on this. You are not going to give up on creating your own abundance and your own financial stability. 
It's like you have, you're trying to prove something either to yourself or to others that you've got what it takes to succeed. Spirit is saying you're already abundant. You may have a hard time actually recognizing that, you know, being completely aware of the fact that you've already created so much, Virgo. And there's, I just feel this restlessness coming off of you. All right, now let's look at the, uh, what you don't see coming. Doing everything your way, moving forward. You could be going up against coworkers and trying to just get everyone to get along. I don't feel like there's this major, major upheaval going on, but changes nonetheless. Wow, Six of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles with the Chariot. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, see, I'm telling you, there's Pentacle energy all over this reading here. So let me pull this down so you can see that. There's so much Pentacle energy here that, again, being generous with others, this is mutual reciprocity. The more you give, the more you get back. You could be giving to a lot of people right now. Plans are being made. Energies are put. I mean, I'm not surprised that you have a lot of pinnacle energy here because I feel like there's this stubbornness coming off you that you're going to do things your way, that you have a plan, that you're executing this plan, and that you're moving forward and you're seeing the results of your hard efforts. And there's a little bit of pushback from somebody in your life. I'm not certain who. Let me get a little bit more on that. Yeah, there's a lot of happiness, though. The sun, ten of wands. Yeah, it feels like you're happy with what you're creating. Judgment. All right. There's there's a major renewal going on in your life. It's It feels like a personal transformation. But whenever we transform and we rise in our energy flow, in our connectivity with ourselves, in our big picture, right, with this portal, the star consciousness, the ancient wisdom, You've been invoking this beautiful power this year, and you're at like this beautiful level of, of trusting and believing in yourself. I just feel like for some reason, there's someone around you that may feel a little jealous. I don't know if it's a past person, a current person, but I feel like there's someone around you that's kind of like creating friction for you, but it's so beneath the surface, it's not even showing up here, but I feel it's like an unsettled feeling. It's really weird. I, I, I often don't have these types of readings, but I know it's like something that I'm not allowed to see. But it's someone who hits close to home. Yeah. There's some major transformation going on in your home life. Okay. This chariot showing up again at the bottom of the deck with the death. Major transformation moving forward. Hermit, there you are. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're 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 not giving up on something. Yeah, you could be carrying an energy. Um, whoever you are attached to, a lot of you are with someone, and there's just a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. And if you're not with someone, you're really focusing on your own stability and security. I want to get some advice from Spirit because this feels like such a personal journey that you're on. Four of Pentacles, temperance. But it's like you're having a hard time coming into balance or being patient. But it does. you're so in this beautiful place of expansion within yourself, Virgo. But it feels like there's something around you affecting you from fully blossoming because they're stuck. Let me see. High Priestess, Page of Swords, The Observer following your attention yeah it's like the changes that you're making five of pentacles on the bottom there's some sort of sadness you're moving through i don't know if it's someone around you who there's someone going i don't yeah there's some sort of death rebirth going on in a connection a long-term investment that you've made there's some been some sadness virgo and i think that you've been learning a lot about what you need to intuitively do just to slow things down and take your time through things I just feel like you're being heavily influenced by something around you. And you're you're doing like this big picture observation. But there's been like this hope has been a little bit lost in some sort of darkness, but it doesn't feel like it's you. King of Wands, it's someone that that is part of your wish fulfillment star, Ace of Cups. You're wanting something new. There's distance between you and another person. 
I mean, new as in like you're trying to like almost breathe life into something that's kind of run a little bit um, status quo, you know, same old, same old. So the reason why this is not really revealing itself and it, it feels so elusive to me is because it's something that you've decided to slow way down and not really focus too much on because it will be too upsetting for you. It's like you're moving through these emotions that are arising within you without judging them. It's like you've taken this really interesting approach to the way you're doing your dance and the way someone else is doing their dance and you're modulating so much of your dance. But somehow it's interestingly enough transforming you in a very profound way because it's allowed you to really be patient with someone. But there's some judgment going on. There's some big decisions that are up ahead around this. I think the two of you are moving through some painful communications. This doesn't have to be any kind of lover. It could be someone that you're going through a major transformation with. The more you stabilize, I feel like the more they're, they're taking from you. It's really weird. This is a very weird one, y'all. It just feels like you have an elusive energy around you that maybe even be a bit of a chameleon that is hard for you to, you don't want to confront it because there's some sort of pattern going on. Instead, you're doing your best to nurture yourself and you're 100% you're devoted to your work and you're doing things your way and you're moving forward with confidence. So it feels like there's just something on the periphery that just wants to kind of like pop in and out, but it's really something that is off to the side. Let's get the final message from the Time Traveler's Oracle. This energy you're in, though, keep at it because no matter what's going on around you, Virgo, you are very pure in your energetic frequency within you. So don't let anything sway you too much that's going on outside of you, okay? You're so grounded in yourself. Protection. Protection. Interesting. Protection. The Cave of the Hands in Argentina. Number 33. Let's take a look at this card. Protection. This might nail what I've been trying to get to. It's just been, it's a very odd energy, Virgo. I can't quite pinpoint it. Evidence of early people has been found in caves as far back as one and a half to two million years ago on planet Earth. We decide to travel just 7,000 years to Hueva de las Manos, Cave of the Hands, in the province of Santa Cruz, Argentina. This cave complex is named for the hundreds of paintings of hands stenciled on the rock walls. We're sitting on some dried grasses just inside the entrance. From our vantage point, we can clearly see the lands below while still feeling safe from predators and enemies. We are also sheltered from the elements. The caves provide a cool habitat for the heat of summer and a warm, dry environment for the cooler winters. The feeling of protection that these caves gives to us is remarkable. The people around us feel no need for constant surveillance. They allow themselves the luxury to relax and decorate the walls with their art. When we place our own hands on the painted hands, they seem to thrum with life force energy. We feel a deep connection to the earth, the sky, and everything that surrounds us. The Time Traveler's Message, Virgo. For long periods of history, people have chosen to live in caves for the, for the protection they offer. This card can arise in a reading for many reasons. This may be a reminder that you are indeed safe. You can trust in the protection of the angels, ancestors, and spirit guides that are all around you, supporting you. Additionally, this can be the card of a leader, meaning that you are a safe space for others. This can also be a sign that you need to take steps to protect yourself, your assets, your possessions, or your loved ones. Guard your energy. Consider using protective talismans or shielding. If you feel that there are places, situations, or people that drain you, take immediate steps to remove yourself from those experiences. Yeah, I mean, especially with, oops, with this energy pulling back in the recent past and you really creating a lot for yourself and not giving up, it just feels like there's a lot going on within you and around you. All these beautiful energies, though, that are supporting you, I, I get that more strongly than this need to remove yourself from people that are draining you. I mean, these could be coworkers. It could be a demanding boss. I feel like you're you're the one, though, that's been bossing up and creating for yourself because I see you doing things your way and having this beautiful give and take exchange and what you don't see coming. So there's, there's a massive shift going on, but it all is about you putting up healthy boundaries. 
okay? Because as you are, are really focusing on your success, a lot of our success does involve knowing our value and our worth and invoking these energetic safeguards so we don't let other people drain us. So whoever this is to you that I'm feeling kind of beneath the surface, mostly this is about you stepping into your star energy of you rising up in your confidence, Virgo, being 100% yourself and not let anyone get in the way of that, okay? But there is this, this protective energy. You have a lot of protection in the non-physical realm at this time. I just feel like you have someone around you who, it's like you're walking around on eggshells and you know something's got to change. And meanwhile, you're very heavily distracted with your work right now. And I think you'd rather just throw yourself in that because that's something you can control. But regardless, you're being very patient with whoever this is in your life, Virgo. And uh, I do see you moving forward with confidence. And I think that just it's one of those things that you're just going to have to be patient with this. All right. There's some sort of deep transformation that someone around you is going through. It's like, let them do what they got to do. And don't try to get too overly consumed with trying to heal, fix, change them, okay? They've got their own journey. Because that's why I just feel like there's this distinct separation that needs to be between your work, what's yours is yours, and what's theirs is theirs. Whoever this is, okay? Like, Spirit's not giving me a lot of the, like, oh, this is who this is in your life. It's It's been a very, this person is hard to pin down. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. Take care.